everybody, this is Arcturus 425 again, and here's my official review for Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Netflix Edition Voyager Class Optimus Prime. It's also a fucking mouthful. Oh, I might as well just take this off. Construct Bot's axe I've had for years, actually. Painting it, burnt it, customized it. <laughs> This thing's been through some shit. It's been too many places too, so... Yeah, 2013. Christmas Day of 2013. And all the way to now. 2021. Here's Optimus. I used a little knife, I had to like, scratch a little scar to make it look like... Like his face does in the series, so... I don't have the Matrix thing for it. Like oh, strange out. This part is just like that. It's cool how they managed to do this and not even need it to be part of the transformation. So that little robot symbol on his arm. It's a bit dusty. He's him and Sideshow have been sitting in my drawer for a while. And I put a little silver in there. I might do more customization later on. My first more G1 Optimus figure because I usually always had a bunch of a few Bay verses and then I had that Legion that Legend Class one that old thing was from the IDW comics I think or something. It was that Legend Class one that came with the roller and that roller can get put onto his gun and can turns into a bigger gun basically. So yeah, yeah, this is I like this. The Earthrise has a. The regular Earthriser has the. There's a brighter bloom on it. But I like this. I like this. It looks nice. Sure, the green window. The window tits green maybe seem a bit more. Most people don't really like it, but I'm fine with it, so. Articulation. Ball joint at the head. Can do stuff. Oh, this one also has a waist swivel. Oh, I mean, take this part down. You can take this part down and you can do a full 360. But other than that, and then hinge at the shoulder, upper arm swivel, hinge at the elbow. Wrist swivel, hand articulation is a hinge under all the fingers. Thumb doesn't move though. Same thing in the other arm. Legs can go out this far, can go back this far. Take this, take this piece off, I think you can go a bit more. But thigh swivel, hinge at the knee. Got some decent, got decent foot. Let's transform, motherfuckers. So yeah, here's the vehicle mode. Not really much to it, just the usual stuff. I mean, if you fold this up and then put it into this port here, it covers up that gap quite nicely. Look at that. Oh, I forgot these. I always forget those. Always. So yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. That. It's not bad. Oh, and there's also the minicons. Whatever this guy's name is, you always do is just... It's just a shield mode. Put this little... Pop that little port out, and then you can just put them onto any port. So 
of this thing will have like a little nice little shiku going on in there, but that's just that hasn't been like really good enough, so. Yeah, you know, what I do is just boom, robot mode, and then there's this. The Tarek Duck, I didn't know. Either the wings don't enjoy, and I freaking threw it away or something. But yeah. And then put that back. Put these out. And then boom. You have a bird that gets dis. dis you have a dinosaur that gets disability every month. Because it's a dumbass. So yeah, now I've basically reviewed pretty much every single Transformer I have at the moment. I hope to get more soon, whenever possible, so... Stay tuned, I might make some more game videos and stuff, and then... Be on our merry way, so... Like, subscribe...